Fellow Nigerians, I beg, if you come across this video, no share this video, go where very dark black man day. Make people not allow very dark man to see this video. Make people just say with him, this pastor, popularly known as Dr. Charles Apoki, just tell very dark man and uh, Yaya Bello for this viral video where they train now. If they tell me, say, this pastor go talk this kind of thing that they have inside this video. I can hardly believe. Maybe I just listen to this video. Maybe I hear what thing. This pastor they tell very dark man for inside this video. Maybe I share and make other Nigerians see what thing at the end. And however, at the age of fifty-six, after many years of medical practice, is that when you do a research, you must have a theoretical framework or an authority that will form the foundation for your analysis of phenomena. I've said severally that according to Greek philosophy, that in any nation, you have idiots. Idiots are those who don't respect the rules. They don't respect society. They don't care about the consequences of their actions on society. And I also quoted Marco Cipolla's principle of stupidity, that stupid people can cause harm to society and they don't benefit anything from their actions. Now, um, the Greek philosophy states that apart from idiots, you now have tribalists. Tribalists are those who see politics and every action from the perspective of their tribe, their political party, their religion, or what they have a common association or relationship with. When I do reviews on Christian leadership, people will call me, some will even threaten me that I'm washing the dirty linen of the body of Christ in public. I will tell them I didn't use the linen with those people involved. We must become a nation of values. They say they will say the body of Christ. They that mention the name of the Lord should depart from iniquity, inequity. That's something that is not fair. The Bible says that in the last day, it will, it will, people will come to him and say, I did this, I did this in your name. He will say, depart from me. Ye workers of what is not fair, inequity. So, that's tribalists. Then citizens are those who have the interest of their nation, society, environment, and humanity uppermost in their minds in all activities that they do. I saw a post by a very dark man on Yahya Bello and EFCC and the alleged 80 billion fraud case. And I saw a young girl, very, how will I say, illogical young girl, attacking very dark man, that if it is, but whether the money that Yahya Bello stole, is it from a do state, or does it belong to a very dark man, or has very dark man complained about his own people, just talking rubbish concerning very dark man. And I started thinking, that girl that made that video, most likely is not a rich girl. Most likely is not from an elite family. Most likely she's also feeling the pain of the underdevelopment of Kobe State. And she's coming to defend somebody that took 80 billion. If you spend 30,000 Naira every day, it will take you 300 years to spend 1 billion. Multiply that by 80, it's nearly 
three millennia to spend 80 billion. One man took it and took the commonwealth of Nigeria. You are seeing whether is, is the, does the money belong to a very dark man or have they complained to him? Before I could recover from that stupidity and idiocy and tribalism, today I saw a conference, a press conference called by an association in quote of Kogi State indigenous. They were appealing to President Tinibu that they should tell the EFCC to stop persecuting, not prosecuting, persecuting Yahya Bello for the 80 billion alleged theft. Do they reason that Yahya Bello stood by the president when people fought against him and enabled the president to win his elections. So if he stood by the president to enable him to win his elections, he should be rewarded with 80 billion theft. Is that what you're trying to say? Because he's from your state. Because maybe you are dependent upon him. Maybe you are from his political party. Maybe you are his associate. And so EFCC is now guilty of being irresponsible in the pursuit of responsibility. How can this country change? How can this country ever change? And the AFCC themselves, I don't know the game they are playing. The man came to your office, you, he went back, then you went to where he was staying and there, were, there was exchange of gunshots at night. When will, you, will we ever become serious in this country? When? When will, you, will we ever become serious? We blame leadership, but the citizenship, the idiocy, stupidity, and tribalism of the citizenry is overwhelming. Sometimes I feel unsafe relating with people because when you discuss with them, you know they have no values. They can, they can tolerate anything, celebrate criminality, and get involved in anything evil as long as it benefits them, benefits their tribe, and benefits their, their, their party and acolytes. This is a, a shame when idiots and tribalists want to overwhelm the citizens of this country. It must not be allowed to stand. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. Remember, Nigeria has a way of catching up with people. Rev uh, Pastor Iswell Chinwiluba is in hospital with fracture of his two thigh bones for 10 years. As a missionary was serving under, under a denomination, his church did not take up his case. Since I've been advertising his problem, I've not had any donations from his church. But people from different tribes, different religious groups are contributing money to his well-being. The day the doctor said that his operation will cost 21.4 million, I wept like a baby. The reason I cried was that in a good country, that should not be a problem. The government with social justice should have good hospitals where the surgery can be done for him. In a good society, the church should be able to foot that bill. Remember, I did a video that 60% of the bed spaces in Germany are owned by the Catholic Church. 
if we had good teaching hospitals, good hospitals where that surgery could be done. This is an old Pentecostal church. We had hospitals where that surgery can be done. We don't need to be crying for money like this. But we are we keep busy. We are busy buying uh, campsites, building big auditoriums. Go around Nigeria in those days. Baptist Hospital Oshobo or Bomosho. Baptist Hospital is saying. Baptist Hospital Shaki. Um, uh, Bishop Shanahan Hospital. Hospital at her back. A cool hospital. But they had hospitals, Catholic hospitals, around the southern part of Nigeria. Equa hospitals in the north. These were missionary hospitals. The 10 biggest hospitals I saw in the list in the United States are faced are owned by faith-based institutions. Our own is private jet. Big this, big that, big that. We are screaming of money every day, tight offering this, this seed. Simple to do operation for a missionary pastor. He has been abandoned for 10 years. And the doctor said that his bones are like biscuits. Please join me to remove this shame from the body of Christ. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube so that everyone out there will see this video. So, guys. See you guys some other time.